well this video is about love at first sniff it was suggested to me by one of my lovelies thank you i decided to sit down and make that video for you because it was a request and a suggestion at the same time i am excited to share with you some of my love at first sniffs um i will mention some that are not in my collection that are on my wish list and also some that are in my collection that i just loved right away i did not need to think about it um, I did not need to contemplate it automatically went on my wish list and must buy okay so let's get started so a little story um, about this is her by Zadig and Voltaire you guys know this is one of my favorite perfumes ever ever um, so I was in a drugstore called Priceline. If you live in Australia, you already know. I think I was having a bad week, a bad month. Every opportunity I had, I would go and smell perfumes. So this was just one of those days. And I went into Priceline, I was looking at their perfumes. It was right in the corner, right at the bottom of the shelf, you know, the glass shelves. And I would see it and I assumed it was a perfume for males you know it was like a, a more masculine scent so every time i'll go in there i'd see it i'll see it and it would just kind of keep registering i'll just keep noticing it so eventually one day i was like you know um excuse me could you please get that one out for me i just want to try it. do you have a sample they said no we don't have a sample for it Oh my goodness and something just told me you're gonna like it I blind bought this in store got home and it was the first thing did I even open it in the car I'm trying to figure out when did I anyway I opened it I smelt it and I loved it I wasn't sure if it was okay to wear this to work you know you're working with people who are getting surgery and things like that but lo and behold this other lady that I was working with was wearing it and I said, are you wearing this is her? And she was like, I am so impressed because nobody knows what this perfume is. It's so rare, almost un unheard of. And you could detect it like how? And I was like, cause I own it. I own a bottle. Ever since then, I've been confident enough to wear it wherever, whenever I feel like it. Um, because you know she was wearing it to work I love this is her she wore it in summer it was hot although we were indoors and there was air conditioning but she was just way too confident like in my opinion to wear this during that season but it just worked well with her she was like maybe in her 40s and it just smelled so good on her she smelled clean especially indoors with the air conditioning it was just the perfect and she said she wears this every day like it's her signature scent look i love this um and so yeah it was definitely love at first sniff um i just went with my instincts and blind bought it in store so and here we are is this years later is it like two years now or is it three years later i don't know it's been a while so i love this is her um the next scent is daisy love by mark jacobs but it's so cute this is a nice floral scent but anyway we're not talking about that today we're just sharing um the scents that i loved right from the get-go you know so daisy love by mark jacobs in store i kept seeing the bottle but never was curious about it because I was never into too much floral anyway and Marc Jacobs scents are definitely very floral so I was not I was not even interested like not even tempted um, we were on vacation like a family vacation and it was summer and it was great you know and I went into my my younger sister's um, bedroom she was taking too long to get ready you know as she does I saw this bottle in her suitcase i was like oh that's cute and she was like hey it's daisy love by mark jacobs i was like oh mark jacobs like who wears mark jacobs i was definitely being a snob a perfume snob i was just like yeah okay like come on like we're running like like hurry up you know she comes out of her room ready to go 
I'm in the lounge area with, you know, the rest of the family. She comes out and there's this cloud of just pretty, you know, prettiness. I was like, what are you wearing? What perfume is that? She's like, the one you just snobbed it. And that taught me a lesson to not be a perfume snob. No, not anymore, okay? I gave florals a chance after that because this is like an aromatic, floral it's sweet it's um woody this is just so pretty it's got top notes of um cloudberry then middle notes of daisy and like the base notes the dry down okay it's like cashmere musk and driftwood needless to say since then i was not a daisy mark jacobs snob daisy love is definitely my favorite so far um from the daisy collection delina exclusive is a semi new purchase but i am down to there i have worn this so many times already always getting complimented always that person everybody's like who smells good in here it's me it's definitely me there is no question i don't care what everybody else is wearing that day I smell the best and that's just the truth I love Delina exclusive that's it and it was definitely love at first sniff it was recommended to me by one of my lovelies here on YouTube I have nothing to regret in fact I need a spare bottle that's all I'm gonna say and some of my lovelies as well commented and said yes like they have spare bottles of this because it's a love love my next scent love at first sniff is Narciso Rodriguez Pudre. There is a wide range in this Narciso selection and my favorite was this one and the one that comes in a light pink bottle and the one that comes in a black bottle. They're all part of the mask for her collection by Narciso Rodriguez. There's no amazing story to this. I literally was in Davy Jones, tried different perfumes and this was one of them and I loved it. Didn't buy it right away, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. So when it was time for me to purchase some Narciso Rodriguez perfumes, this was on top of the list. So this is Pudre from the line and I love this. It's so clean, it's so uh, like baby powdery. It's just innocent and clean and musky at the same time. So it's just perfect. I have worn it as a signature scent. I have worn it as a layering scent, believe it or not. Actually, should I, should I share how I layer this one? Mm -mm, not today. No, I'm keeping that top secret. <laughs> Um, so yeah, love this. Love at first sniff, Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mal from the Dominique Ropion house of fragrances. Okay, so I was in Mecca, which is one of the stores out here in Australia. They sell makeup, beauty products, and all those great things. Mecca is like sephora for those that know sephora but we also have sephora so we have sephora we have mecca and mecca had dominic ropian perfumes now i purposely went in there to to try a bunch of perfumes i tried some maison francis kirchan perfumes i was just sniffing everything in the store let's just say that you know how you just accumulate a bunch of sample strips the ones you spray your perfume on yeah so i had a bunch already and i'm like what do i do with this i don't see a bin should i put them in my handbag so i did and then i got to the frederick mile selection area of course i sprayed everything by the time i got home long story short i couldn't remember what was what because sometimes i'm really good like i'll spray something smelling and then when I get home, when I smell the test samples, I'll be like, okay, yeah, yeah, this is, you know, be able to pick out what scent it is. But this time I couldn't because there was one perfume that was overpowering all of the samples that I had, you know? So I was like, which one is it? Needless to say, I had to go back to the store and try again. Now, I have a few favorites 
like I think like five from the um, Frederick Mal house that are on my wish list like when are they gonna just jump off the wish list and onto my perfume shelf like when is that gonna happen you know what I realized that one perfume that was overpowering every scent in there in my samples was portrait of a lady so of course I had to buy it I was like anything that just takes over and claims the space deserves to be in my house that's how i ended up with portrait of a lady um initially i thought it was very mature it was beautiful but i was kind of new to roses this was like mature and i was like where would i wear this if i wore this to a bus stop not that i catch buses but where where can i wear this like where someone or people will appreciate this and I just couldn't come up with the right occasions and the right places and the right groups of people in my life that if I wore this, they'd be like, wow, you smell amazing. For a long time, I didn't wear it. But you know what I have realized? That dress for your future or dress for where you want to be in life or dress for where you see yourself in the future. I may not be around the types of people that I know would love this, but one day, one day I will be in the right circle that will appreciate this perfume. So love it. That is how I ended up with Portrait of a Lady and no regrets, no regrets, zero. See by Giorgio Armani. How did I stumble upon this perfume? Like I had heard so much about it already. This is going back a few years now and I was at work wherever I was working a few years ago. You guys don't need to know. That's boring. Um, and this man that I was working with was thinking of a, a gift for his wife. So he was asking around, asking every female, <laughs> like, what should I get him? I was like, perfume, obviously. And he was like, yeah, 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 I could do that. And he was like, okay, what perfume? So then that was the next question. And everybody was throwing perfumes out at him and C was one of the ones that won in the groups of perfumes that we were suggesting so and then after that I was like you know what every time I go into the shopping center I go and sniff this it's time I own a bottle myself and so I couldn't just get a 50 mil no I couldn't just get 100 mil no i had to get the 150 as you can see i have taken a whole chunk out of it but this is a big bottle it's 150 mil so it's gonna be a little while but it was definitely love at first sniff i feel like c by jojo money was one of the the musky woody sweet floral scents at that time that were like top of the list so it, it was popular it took the stage on its own for a while before other people just joined in started creating similar scents you know so it's really great and i love the intense i love the flankers as well si passion is great it's my favorite the intense one the intense so all the intenses the intense flankers of this perfume are my favorites so yeah love i was seeing lira everywhere okay but never got the chance to smell it in store because I have to go a little bit of a distance to go and smell. It's like a commitment to go try some of these niche perfumes because they are only found in specific stores in this city. One of my friends on Instagram, she's a lovely as well. She had this on her page. I asked her, I said, is it worth buying? She said, yes. And I said, okay, is this like a 50 mil worth buying type of thing or like the full bottle type of thing or is it just like a sample you know because some perfumes are just worth as much as a sample really um she said well i have the 50 mils i said but you love it you wish you had 100 mils she said yes yeah it's just me with the questions okay <laughs> i blind bought this based on her recommendations of course i watched reviews but they just didn't quite get me to purchase it. You know what I mean? 
until that moment and yeah so i bought it and definitely love at first sniff this is a dessert like like custardy lemony sweet caramel goodness okay love at first sniff orientica sense this is the luxury collection i have the trio and these were love at first sniff you guys know there's a bit of a story with royal amber the first bottle that i purchased of royal amber was just a disaster yeah i got it exchanged with a new one and yeah love the three they were love at first sniff dolce and gabbana the one this was a love at first sniff absolutely i was just in store trying different perfumes loved the bottle it attracted me so i tried it and loved it and i have repurchased this perfume like three times the first two bottles were eau de toilettes and this is the eau de parfum version and i think that the eau de toilette and the eau de parfum are not really too different in intensity and i think i wore it to a wedding as a guest loved it definitely a repurchase i just feel like i just need to own it so yes love love this every time i tried a maison francis kirkshawn fragrance i enjoyed it i loved it and duh i got the 200 ml bottles because i'm just extra i have the extract of the baccarat rouge 540 and i have the edp i have tried them in store actually first of all this one was a blind buy this was the first maison francis kirkshawn perfume i've owned i was obsessed this <laughs> made my mouth water every time i would spray this or smell it or try to talk about it and i'll be drooling if you don't believe me go and watch my first or oh, this second youtube video i will link that in the description box when i spoke about this i unboxed it i smelt it then the same day i went to spray some dominique Rapion perfume i tried you know the frederick mal perfumes and i tried these i also tried some Byredo perfumes so then of course i had to own oud satin mood the order of purchase was baccarat rouge 540 extract then oud satin mood then the edp baccarat rouge 540 love them love at first sniff for sure next perfumes are amouage perfumes anyway i went to a amouage perfume counter and i tried all the scents there like male and female scents i had these as safe buys so when i got the chance i ordered them online and got them delivered they would definitely love at first sniff this is amouage on a woman and this is sunshine woman of the three amouage journey is the most unique but definitely a love at first sniff this is not one i say go in blind by no unless you're 38 and above and you are not new to fragrances then you would most likely most likely love this but if you're new to fragrances no matter what age you are this is not one i would say go and blind buy definitely try first but i love it it's unique it's beautiful it's mm, a mouage dolce and gabbana light blue intense tried it in store loved it i had it <laughs> here at my place my brother was staying over because you know just to spend time with me or whatever so he came over, he was staying the night, and the next day he was gonna go and meet his girlfriend. He was like, oh, I didn't pack a fragrance. I'm like, yeah, right. He's like, can I wear one of yours? I was like, of course. He was like, okay, pick for me, because everybody always likes me to pick for them, just so, because when they see my perfumes, they get a little bit overwhelmed, and they don't know where to start, I mean, and they don't know my collection as well as I do. I was like, what should I give him? So I gave him Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense 
because it's unisex, it's clean, it's interesting, it's just nice. And he's a teenager. He wore this, loved it. In fact, when he wore this, I was like, is this how I smell when I wear this? And I had to remind him with the way he sprays. I don't know all the men that I know in my life just spray like there is no tomorrow. They're just bathing in perfume. And I had to remind him, listen, this is Dolce and Gabbana. This is designer out of your price range. So keep that in mind when you're spraying. I don't know, they just be thinking I'm rich when I'm not. So yeah, and he loved this. He loved this and he smelled amazing, but he just looked clean, nicely shaved and trimmed. Just, you know, he was looking good. So I thought this would suit him and it was a sunny day and um, I didn't know what they were gonna get up to. So this would have been perfect if they ended up going out for lunch or to the movies or somewhere wherever for a walk i don't know but yeah the way he was spraying like i was like this is not those um drugstore cristiano ronaldo perfumes or what is it david beckham scents that are more affordable you know this is different right so that was really funny but yeah love at first sniff light blue intense okay and in the same category i also love the tiffany um intense as well um the clean scent it's beautiful and that has been on my wish list forever but it hasn't been a necessity because i always wear this one until i'm gifted that one hint hint to anybody who wants to gift me perfume mm. okay next perfume dior addict obviously was a love at first sniff this is the other one that i was like i need to find the right occasion for this and at that time i wasn't really going anywhere sophisticated or anything like because i'm a homebody and i'm usually just around my family and you know tiny circle friends love at first sniff yeah definitely let's cut this list very short because we could be here forever uh La Nuit Tresor was a love at first sniff. Um, Scandal by Night was a love at first sniff. Gin Fizz by Lubin Paris was gifted and it was a love at first sniff. I was at the counter, the Lubin counter, perfume counter, and I sprayed all their perfumes and I love them now. Let's talk about Chanel. Chanel Mademoiselle was a love at first sniff. And then after a while I got sick of it. Um, but the mademoiselle intense was a love at first sniff and that one i am going to repurchase like because that bottle is done and i only had a 50 ml bottle i feel like the next bottle should be a 200 ml because that's a perfect signature scent for me you know that one guarantees um attention and compliments for me another lubin paris fragrance that was love at first sniff was black jade when I sprayed all the perfumes at that counter, that was one that stood out to me. I mean, the dry down is sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, you know, all my favorite things. Let me talk about some male perfumes that I've loved, I have sprayed and loved. I'm trying to remember the male perfumes that I've loved. Um, the Aqua Du Jour by Giorgio Armani, I have gifted that one to my dad. He loved it. I've also bought him that Chanel one. Blue, the Chanel. I've gifted that to my dad and he loved that. Allure by Chanel is really nice. Love at first sniff. There are some Amouage scents that I really liked that I thought would smell really good on a man. <laughs> Dior Sauvage, that one is an obvious one. Creed Aventus, Val you know, for men. That one's really nice on a man. Ooh. Um, Valentino Black. Really nice on a man. What types of scents do I like on men, actually? Like, it just depends. It just depends. I like that clean, fresh, spicy scent on a man. I like, sometimes I like um, the oud, leathery scent on a man. Um, I just like 
scents that are more masculine smelling on a man. I have been pleasantly surprised though sometimes. Um, there's some unisex scents that women tend to wear that when a man wears are just at a different level. For example, if a man was wearing Coco by Chanel, listen, that would just smell amazing. Um, Amande Tonka on a man as well would smell amazing. Coco Noir on a man would smell amazing. I should just do a suggestion video for male perfumes that I personally love on a man. And I'll tell you why they smell so good on men, like, and what it does. This was such a fun video to make because I gave you guys some story time. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed it too. Please don't forget to subscribe. Like it's literally free. And some of you always pop by my channel, but you don't subscribe and you don't comment. You don't say hi. So how would I know you're here? It would be nice if we could be acquainted, you know, properly. I understand that some of you could be too shy to want to say something or make your presence known on my channel, but like algorithm youtube needs to know that you enjoy being here and that will only happen if you like or comment you know what i mean it's not just as simple as you watching the video even though that's like the best part <laughs> i am open to topic suggestions um just like this video it was requested by one of my lovelies thank you and i hope you enjoyed it um, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.